Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So have you, I know you haven't flown a ton of times. Uh, you, have you been lucky enough that they've never lost your luggage? No, I've never had my luggage lost, no. Okay. I have had my luggage lost. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this is when we lived back in Ashtabula. Mm-hmm. And it sucked. And uh, w- the reason it got lost is because, like, it was bad weather that day, and I had two flights, and my flight that was coming in got late and landed after my other flight left. So they had to, like, mm-hmm. I had to get another flight, and by the time, blah, 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 like, they just they lost my goddamn luggage, of course. They didn't get on the right plane at the right time. So uh, so I'd file a claim or whatever, and I'm like, great, you lost all my clothes, whatever. And, and I expected to never see it again. And, I, I, I mean... They, it didn't get lost. It was just like on the wrong plane, right? So 4 a.m. this dude shows up to my house like with my luggage all the way from Berea to oh, Ashtabula with my luggage. Mm. But he, they did bring it back. Whatever. Also, with that same note, they lost my luggage. And then when I went out to my car, my car battery was dead because someone had tried to set off. My car alarm was got set off while I was gone. Yikes. So, like, I got to the car and I had to get a jump to get my car running. I was not happy. Let's we'll say that. Yikes. Like, I was, like, 20 at the time, too. So, my emotionality was probably, I was like, fucking just Oh, my pissed. God. If you were worse than you are now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So, I saw this story about a lady who United Airlines lost her luggage. Hmm. And they were like, don't worry, it's at our thing, we're going to get it to you, whatever. Mm. Um, and this is this went on for a few days, and she didn't have her luggage. Well, this lady happened to put an Apple AirTag in her luggage. Oh, see? Now, this is what, peop- this is what AirTags are good yeah, for. Yeah, not to stock your ex. Um, so, she noticed, she calls United, and she's like, hey... Are you guys sure you like know what's up with my luggage? And they're like, oh yeah, it's at our thing, it's whatever. She goes, uh, no, then why ain't. is my luggage at McDonald's, like down the street from my house? And they were like, uh uh uh. So she so she what she does? Uh-huh. She goes and gets the news, the yeah. local news, and she starts trailing her luggage. And she goes, it, it it comes back to an apartment complex. That's where her luggage is with the air tag. She goes. And what she goes over the to the hell? dumpster at the apartments, finds like 12 other bags from United that are in the dumpster. Why are they in the dumpster? So, and then it ends up, it ends up, it, it's in an apartment. So essentially what Somebody happened. Somebody stole them. What happened, the, the third party service that delivers luggage, the guy just took it all home. So he had her luggage. He, she went and like knocked on his <laughs> apartment door and he was like just worried he was going to get in trouble. He gave her a luggage back. He didn't steal her shit. Nah, he was still in other people's. Oh stuff, yeah, though. but like I don't know why hers didn't get stolen or whatever. But she said she went back to get to like get the luggage for other people, and it, it had dis- mis- mysteriously disappeared because uh-huh. they probably were like, oh shit. But just like, how wild would that be? <laughs> just like you're what tagging your luggage, you're like why is my luggage at McDonald's? Why is it at the post office? That's now? insane. Although, uh, look, I will say is that one that is insane that that happened, yeah. and two, that's a juicy lick. You gotta think about that. Stealing luggage. That's not, hey, you know, think, think I mean, in smarter, the airport, not harder. In the airport, they have cameras. So if you walk off with someone else's bag. Yeah, but you got to be that third party guy. So, you you know, you walk well, in, right. you offer so your service. You can't really blame United because as far as United knew, yeah, they're yeah. like, we have it. It's coming to you. But then but then the guy who got it was like, no, nah, I'm just going to go home. That's so That's crazy. like the Grubhub guy that didn't deliver your food that one time. He was just like, nah, I'm, right. like, nah, just, I'm just taking this no. gyro that, that happens all the time, though. I've seen so many stories Oh, about absolutely. That it, it Maybe like two months ago, I was hanging out with a girl, and we ordered a pizza through Grubhub, and it just didn't show it up. didn't show up. Said it was delivered. Just And then, well, the effed up thing is by the time it got there, everything else was closed. We had to go drive to somewhere to get food, and I was like, that sucks. What if we were drunk? Right. I thought you were going to talk about uh, the thing where Southwest was having the issues over the holidays. Oh, dude. And like a bunch of flights got Boudigid canceled. got all up in arms about it. I, I don't know. He's the transportation Boudigid. secretary. Oh, yeah. And he was like, what do you want me to do? Well, uh, well, I think what happens at Southwest is they're so reliant on this plane goes here. Let people off. People get on. Go this plane. So if like one thing starts gumming up the works or yeah. a bunch of pilots get sick and they have to start it, it the domino effect is stupid. Yeah. Like that happened like a year ago or not even. Same thing with <laughs> not as bad as Christmas. Yeah. But yeah, it's like they I get it. It's efficient for costs. 
but this can happen. And I guess like they were, they could owe people money and do that. Yeah, is I mean, they should. And honestly, it's worse with Southwest because Southwest is one of the few airlines that your bag does not necessarily ride on the same plane as you. What? So, yeah, I know. Wait, I know. how is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know, but I know it to be true. Southwest is one of the few airlines where your bag does not ride the same plane as you. So they wait, were looking, wait, wait. This they is were, the first. Where did you read this? I, this is the first I've ever heard this in my life. Really? Yeah, because how can they? If how how can they make that true? Like, not every flight goes through Tampa. I mean, I mean, you can fact check me right now, but I'm not going to do it while I'm in I'm the middle. I'm just wondering if like where you read it. That was all. Oh, it was uh, the news. News media news. Trumpnews.com. It was not O L N news. <laughs> o L N. It was not uh the InfoWars. No but, Alex Jones told me. But dead ass, I mean, look, you, you can fact check if you want, but either way, they were losing a lot of people's luggage over over the holidays and with the cancel flights, a lot of people had to choose to drive back. I knew a, a person in particular who drove all the way from Chicago back to Texas. Oh damn because it was like we can't get a plane. But I think that was because of, like, the snowstorm. Yeah, I knew a girl who was in Florida when that happened last time, and they and like they ended up having to, like, stay in a hotel for, like, yeah. three more days. Yeah. And, like, it was, like, I think they ended up driving back, too. And I was like, that is wild. Because that's, like, oh, from there to, like, I think, she, well, she lives in West Virginia. But still, that's still, like, an 18-hour flipping drive mm -hmm. to, like, mm -hmm. dude, that is, that's a, you had a whole vacation, then you're three days delayed, and then you drive almost a full day. Oh, yep. <laughs> on, you know, the, on the most likely on that day that you sequestered for yourself to have off to decompress from your vacation. Right, right. Because you always need that well, day after a vacation. But here's the thing. You know what I always do? What's Don't that? travel around major holidays. That's the time when stuff happens. Yeah, definitely. I like. Definitely. I went and saw my mom for Christmas two years ago. You know when I flew out? The fourteenth of December. You know when I flew home? Like the eighteenth of December. I was in and out a week <laughs> before Christmas, before that holiday ish happened. <laughs> And like a merry early Christmas, right? Exactly. Like mom, is, mom is was no less happy. She got to see me a week before Christmas than me not being there on Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Like it, exactly. it, it is. But the risk of stuff like that happening around holidays is always going to happen because it's so goddamn jam packed. That's when they overbook flights. That's when they their weather is bad. That's when they, no man, I'm good. I also try to not have layovers, except for living in Austin, going to Cleveland. There is no effing direct flight, so I always have to have a goddamn connecting flight, which only allows a delay. <laughs> and when I went to Minnesota, it was a, it was a direct, so it was just one flight. Oh, so, like, right. you know, once you get on the plane, when you land, you're there. Yeah. Like, not like, I hope I get there and, like... Yo, that connecting flight anxiety is so strong, too. You know, like, yeah, have you ever gotten off and you're trying to... You, obviously, you're in some f foreign land as soon as you have to get on your connecting flight because you're, like, in freaking Buffalo and you're, like, I don't know what anything looks like around here. And you're, like, all right, I got to go to gate C9, but I have to be there in... 25 minutes and you're like can i actually find it in that 25 you wanna, minutes you want to hear some wild shit about what happened last time i flew did you get lost no no i uh we got to okay, you know like when you get off a plane it's like the wild west and everyone like everyone should just like where you are stand up and like get off the plane no. right like slowly but surely front to back they literally landed and they were like there's there's a person in the back whose connecting flight leaves in like three minutes can we please let this one person off the plane First, no. Nope. Next thing, thirty mother. Yep. They were like running, like, no, and the no, lady no. in front of me was like, "All y'all got a goddamn connecting flight." And then finally, I just like, I just like stood up in the aisle, and like, I was just like, like, like after a minute, like I was like, "No, I am not sitting on this goddamn plane for thirty minutes to let everyone in the back off." Like we let like twelve people go by, and I was just <laughs> like, "Nope." Oh. Y'all can, I blocked the rest and I was like, cause I was, I was in like the ninth row, dude. I'm like, no, get the hell out of here. Like, no, I'm not doing that. They said, let the one person off and it turned, I got it you. It turned into like 30 people rushing oh, from the back. I thought it was just like a bunch of jerks from in front, not letting the lady no, get to her no, flight. Like, then, then what Which happens I could is also all those see people happening. are in the damn aisle. So no one can get out up front to like get their luggage to get yeah, out yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was just stupid. <laughs> I was just like, I have never heard a plane do that ever. Uh, like, if that's the case, they should they should say, hold on. They should walk back, get the person, walk that one person off, and then let everybody else the plane. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. not just make an announcement 
if like, oh, if you need to connect a flight, everybody in the back is going to run to the front, dude. Why would you not? You know what, Jonas? They already make you pay a premium to board the plane early. They should ins- make another incentive where you can pay another premium to get off. To get off. Oh the my plane god! Early. With that, with that one person wide aisle, that would work out. They, they stand at the front. They're like Joe Smith. Joe Smith, come on off. <laughs> Samson Dolomite, get they, on out here. They're they're monetizing everything at this point. So yeah, I say, I, dude, I'm not what? gonna lie. I would pay 20 bucks to get off the plane early. Hell yeah, Jonas. And you know what, Jonas? For $150, we'll give you the Tom Cruise experience. You can just parachute out of the bottom of that some bitch. <laughs> <Just laughs> parachute out the bottom. We'll have a running motorcycle waiting for you on the tarmac. <laughs> you, you just go into the back where like they prep the food and you just like walk down. There's like a, there's like a little pod. It's like poof. When you yeah. get in, you strap up, they just drop you. Yeah, the Tommy C experience. Oh, dude, I want the MI the MI six experience, dude. <laughs> <I see. laughs> Alright, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to the crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.